ideally, what would be the perfect way to proceed with the fucking story from where we're at right now? Shit. Who wants to go first? Um, <laughs> I think Kai. I think Kai got something. Kai's about to drop something. I said they gotta do the Super Shadow Dragons, man. Boma out here making the most bodacious wishes ever. Yup. So it's it's time. It's time to start incorporating this shit in. That's another perfect time to start bringing Primal Instinct in, retconning a bunch of shit we're already familiar with. Now's the time. Stop playing with us. The fucking Blitz Waves? Like, what? Stop, stop <laughs> playing with us. The fucking bringing the Blitz Waves? What are we doing? I mean, I didn't say all that, but you know. Yeah, no, you didn't say all that. No. I, I, I knew what you meant. I, I, yeah. I would not dare to think that you would want some bullshit along with the things that you want to see happen so yeah mm -mm. but yeah worry. like it like we we've been talking about like that being a possibility for a hot minute and then it's like i said the super movie really just puts it in a perspective helps it come yeah. together tie right the fuck in perfect timing for this shit to happen great time to you know close that end of z then we can go on and what's next well this is the perfect segue for it and that's a great that, that'll give them a lot of story. They don't have to think too hard because it's already fucking out there for them. So they can just do a lot of callbacks as they have been because who doesn't love their nostalgia? That shit sells. Yeah. And then what do they want to do for a movie? I've already said my personal opinion has got to be Cooler, man. They're hyping Cooler up and Dokken and everything else. They gave him his own rap song. Like, just put him in the story. Y'all want to have brother. Black Frieza? Yeah. You want to have Black Frieza? You might as well bring in Cooler. You really yeah, might as well. Yeah, yeah. Now's a good time for him as far as the movie and as far as the story. We got the Shadow Dragons. Like, come on. Yep. Yeah, the, the cooler segue is definitely uh, it's definitely up there, I would say. Like, it, it, sh it at this point, I feel like he should be in the story. Just just because Black Frieza is now a thing and <clears throat> he's kind of he's uh, repairing his own army and shit. And why not get your brother type shit like on, on board or whatever. So it's like. I mean, they got it right there. It's in their fucking hands. They just gotta, you know. They, they don't have gotta, to try too hard. They just gotta do it. So, you know yeah. what's funny, right? You guys talk about Cooler. I guess this is a good time to talk about Cooler. <clears throat> now, I've had some thought, or it's had some time to think about this, and how I would want him to be written in. And you know what would be a swerve, kind of, right? Is if... Cooler has been involved in the background, and we just never knew because they just never thought of it, obviously, right? But, you know, that's how Dragon Ball works. Toriyama didn't think half the shit was going to happen after, you know, when he it was writing Dragon Ball to ever get to this level, right? So things things change. Things like that. And I feel like, personally, when we... And this is, this is weird how this fucking ties into everything we were just talking about. But, hey, Full Power Podcast, we're fucking out of control. Okay? But, when we think about training, the most optimal way to train is when you have a partner. My man went golden in four months. But did we know where and what he did? All he said was he trained for four months. He didn't give us the deets. And that brings me to another question with Black Frieza. We know he trained for 10 years, but when in the 10 years did he achieve Black Frieza? Because if he achieved it year one, that's a problem. Yeah, no, that's right. an issue. That's, that's an a issue. whole problem. And yeah, I, I mentioned this in the last episode that we talked about that, was that what makes y'all think Black Frieza is the only form he got in that 10 years Dude, of he, fucking time chamber training. White Frieza coming. White Frieza, Platinum be, Frieza, bro, like, it doesn't matter. That would be very dangerous if, like, that's actually, if, if he actually accomplished multiple forms within that period. I mean, like, Black Frieza was already, already looking OD because he already knocked out the Ultra Instinct and Ego. Like, <laughs> yeah. One shot. One just know, shot. Like, just knowing that information, it's like, what level is he right now? Like, is he on, like, a, like a Beerus level or even Too above cool that? Too cool for school. Like, 
Like, that, yeah. like it's crazy. It's crazy. Right. That's the thing. That's the thing. We don't know. We don't and know specifically. It's perfect for him to be training with a partner. And we discussed that the perfect gym's the time chamber. And what do you know? Frieza's got his own time chamber. Listen, that would be the ultimate way to write Cooler in. Because all you need to do is literally have a moment where, like, le okay, this is, okay, I got, I got the scenario right here. I got it. I got one too. So, time goes on after the last chapter, right? The end of Z happens. Like, we, we are finally greeted with this tournament, this and that. Um, and then, you know, the whole oob moment happens. Goku and oob fly off. They fly off. But then once we get past this end of Z part, where they fly to is now revealed. All they're, all they're doing was flying. But then Goku does one of these. And they teleport to Beerus' planet. And Goku introduces Oob to, to Beerus and Whis, right? And Broly. And, ooh. That's, that's, ooh, ooh, I like that. I like that. That's, that's some good sauce, right? But that's just like little, like that, that's like the, you know, that, that's like Goku's laying the foundation of like, yo, this is, this is what we could do for you. Like, we're going to be really training you to bring out like your, 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 your power, your potential, all this shit. Right. Maybe not with Broly though. That'd be child abuse. Yeah. No, 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 no. Like, I'm not even saying, I'm not even going there because I want to get to where I'm really trying to get to. Right. So then, uh, some, some more time passes. Right. And it's established that, you know, there's more peace now even though they have Frieza to worry about and, and he's like the focus. So Vegeta is still training. Goku's still training. Broly's even training. Oob is with them now. He's watching and training and doing what he can. Um, and during all of this, like he could be introduced to Pan and to Gohan and whatever. It doesn't matter, right? But then there comes a point where either Frieza presents himself or... Goku and Vegeta get antsy and they're like, we got to take him out or we got to fight him like right now. So they, so the, the whole thing I'm trying to set up here is that I want there to be a point where they, they want to fight him too soon. Okay. They think they're ready, but they're, they're not right. And they, and the point is they, they have a scuffle with Frieza. And Frieza is playing with them. Like straight up playing with them. And and Goku and Vegeta are just like, bro, why is he so strong? And then Frieza's like, y'all are not even worth my time. Here is somebody that I think you guys should probably like. Like you, that you should, you, that you should maybe, if you can defeat him, I might reconsider some shit. And then here comes fucking big brother Cooler. Cooler proceeds to fuck them up too. This is, this is, dude, I can't believe we want the story to be all the main characters get bodied, right? We're so sick of them fucking Cause, doing it. <laughs> cause, cause the last time it happened. Ah. Correct. Ha! Goku Black. Yes, that is that is dingable. Okay. Like an L, an L for the heroes in Dragon Ball is actually demoralizing. Not gonna cap. Like it's like it's all, like I don't know if they will ever uh, give us like a, a Marvel Avengers type of feel. Like when they lost in the movie. Oh, like, but see, they need you know, to. You know what I mean? Like if they do that with like kind of kind of use if they do that using Frieza like Black Frieza's new form and potential other forms along with i guess cooler in this case then like like it'll definitely add it'll add they some fire to the they, to, to super they can't they it is impossible for them at this at this point i am straight up calling it it is impossible for them to hit us with that because they had the one chance of all fucking time to show that even in dragon ball death could really be a thing with miris and they took that shit away. So it's official. There's no death in Dragon Ball. That shit's not going to hit. No real death after all. 
Yeah. No death for the important people. That yo, but <laughs> no, but Kai's right though. That fucking shit. That would have been the first that step. That was the towards one time a sign of change, of real but change. But like, but like, even if we're gonna like use like, there's no real death. Like, I guess I'll bring in Marvel, kind of like they got different universes and shit, and like, like they can make they can time shift or go back and try to like if they wanted to but that in itself is a whole shit show and i'm not going into that shit it's, yeah it's a Fucking whole shit show tony i'm not stark trying to life. turn this into no xeno holy <laughs> tree tony, tony stark tony stark but that's my boy yeah no i mean that's that's true i mean like look i i i've we've said this geekdom has said this like dragon ball could be its own mcu it could be its own marvel there are so many different ways they could do it. And I mean, they're kind of at that stage in its overall lifespan where it's like it started off very small, where everything was within the realms of like the Dragon Ball shit. Right. And then it expanded. You started getting aliens, you know, like the Saiyans then Frieza. Then 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 shit started going from the future. Coming the future started coming in there. Timelines. All this shit. Then it topped off with a being that the Supreme Elder Kai's and all this shit struggled with back in that day. Right? When you look at it from that perspective, now we're at the point where even after that, the gods start getting involved. The angels, other universes, a you a multiver like multiversal tournament. Where it was like universes. One, two, whatever, you know, six, seven, 47, all that shit. They're in there, right? And they're trying to just doing it for the fucking shits and giggles. And then it goes back to outer, outerly space shit again. Like, we're there already. They have the means and the story and the sustenance to give us that. Will they? That's completely up to them. I don't know. They could. But on the topic of Cooler specifically, I feel like they absolutely should should do it in that way. Where Frieza is like, yo, I'm not gonna waste my time. But if you really think like and then and then like they doubt they sleep on Cooler for a second. But then that's when Cooler starts to fuck them up. And they're like, How can how can there be how can Frieza's brother be just like near the strength or whatever, right? Who and then, would have thought Frieza had a brother? And then and either Cooler says this or Frieza says this. And they're like, how do you think he got so strong? <laughs> you know? And then and then it's almost like Goku and Vegeta have like a reflecting moment. It's like, well, if you think about it, like, you know, we've kind of been pushing each other to get to the heights that we're at. But I guess I should also say at the same time, Goku kind of always figured out his own way. Yo, like, what if, what if here, like, because we all know, like, Frieza has, like, uh, like, other planets that I guess he's involved in and shit like that. Yep. Like, what if when Vegeta and Goku go back with Beerus and Whis, like, probably Whis, like, what if Whis pinpoints where exactly Frieza was and, like, kind of lets Goku and Vegeta know? Well, see, here's the thing. something like that. Whis could probably fucking know in one second. Exactly. But he can't get involved actually <laughs> he can <laughs> listen but that's the thing welcome to dragon ball how can i fucking make you more confused not help is gonna be like i can't get involved vegeta's gonna be like how about this sunday weiss is gonna be like he went that way yeah <laughs> yeah that way. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's like, that's yo that but see that's they could do that that's a very Dragon Ball thing of them to do. You see, oh, but, yeah. that, but that's Easy. but that that's like all they have because that all they have to find is where he was training, and then like they might get information blah blah blah, and then like you know they might make their move like too soon like we were talking about earlier and then get an L, mm -hmm. but because like I feel like <laughs> I feel like if they actually fight Frieza a little too soon like and it's too good to be true type of thing like I f actually feel like they will lose. But then there will be, whether it's another arc or it's a part of the story later on when they start training again, like, then then they'll have a second chance or, I mean, technically that would be the second chance. They'll have a third chance at it. And, I mean, 
Dude, I'm Dragon tell- Ball might surprise us. I don't fucking know. Listen, <laughs> listen. Like I like I said in the last time we talked about this shit, Frieza is now at the, at the top. He is the best. He is at the top. He's he the is top. the best again. He cannot be the next few arcs like them. Like they, the, they can keep him as a goal, clearly. But now this is their chance to let Frieza be the end. There's nah, but like you also you have to you also have that. to like you have to also kind of realize and understand like or not even understand but more so like how 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 much stronger can Frieza even become since he's already at the top that we're saying like until Weiss and or Beer start getting scared or intimidated by that well like, because he's so he's that strong like what if they don't want to get what if they don't want Frieza to get like so much stronger to a point where it's actually scary to them in a sense because then he could do whatever the fuck he wants truly and even fight he can fight all the fucking gods so besides xenosama probably yeah so that's the thing i feel like that would infringe on their whole balance shit because it's not it's not really up to them (laughs) to just be like okay you're getting too strong you're dead like hakai Right, I don't think they're gonna do that. They're not gonna do that. You wanna know why I know they're not gonna do that? That would defeat the whole purpose of this fucking series. Well, it would. It would. But what if he can't even be Hakai? Oh, because because he's that strong. Like they actually have to fight man's. Yeah. And, uh, uh, Hakai can't do the fucking trick. All right, like, but you know what I mean. Like, what if he could withstand the Hakai? You know what I mean? And he flips it on Beerus. But but like it it like the like. I guess Hakai is like really an ultimate move, but does it act like, like I don't know, I don't know about that one to be honest. Like, listen, like it, it, like I don't know on like a move scale, on a move power scale, like we know the Hakai literally kills, but like, yeah. can you withstand it or like is it just a one shot? Like you know what I mean? Well, because if it's not a one shot, like depending on how strong the person is, like, nah, then it's, it's a fight at that point. It, it is a one shot, but they said that it can only be used on people weaker than you. Yeah. Mm. So like, that, you see, that's a twist. That's yeah. a that is a, that is a good twist. But I, I and like then, I, I mean, Frieza already withstood a Hakai. Did he? Well, that's be, yeah. wait, wait. That was because wasn't it Goku that tried to do it to him or some shit? I don't remember. No, that was that little fucking that little assassin nigga. I don't even know. He was a little bear. He was a little bear right before the T.O.P. Goku brought Frieza with Baba, and then they got ambushed by all those little bears, those little bear assassins, and he threw the Hakai at Frieza, and Frieza was, like, acting like he got hurt, and he was like, just kidding. And then he condensed uh, that shit. I kind of, I kind of. Oh, uh, yeah, so, but there you go. Like, there was a fucking bear. Yeah, that no, was but that was, thing. that Hakai was from the God of Destruction, Sidra. From whichever whichever universe, that was his. He gave it to him and said, "Here, like, use this on Frieza." Okay, wow! Okay. But Frieza was stronger than that God of Destruction. Also, oh, they're already. Fucked. Black Frieza's Frieza, OD. At that at that point, Golden Frieza at that point was already stronger than that particular God of Destruction. Oof. Okay. Well, that's uh, actually that's a really kinda... that's a good piece of uh, information. But you know what's funny? Frieza condensed that. And then Goku turned his back and Frieza said, hey, monkey, hold this. And Goku couldn't break out of it. We saw we saw Beerus go and blow that shit away off him because Goku was not stronger than that God of Destruction at that time. At the time, I guess, yeah. He wasn't he was powered up. He was struggling. Yeah, nah. Wait, was he, was he weakened at that point? What do you mean like, weakened? Or, like, were they fighting, fighting? And, like, he was damaged? Or, like, before that Hakai hit him or whatever? Nah, he was chilling. Mm. Oh, then I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> he tried. Know. He started. He started to condense it, but he like lost control of it. Mm. Did he have? He didn't have Ultra Instinct at that time, right? Like he. he no. He no, because this is right it. before the tournament of powers like started. Was like, he? Right was before. he? Was he blue? When he got trapped? No. Yeah. He, no, he was. He was base. Blue. Yeah. He so was, was Frieza. Oh. Oh, but Frieza was based. Uh, huh? That's interesting. That is weird. I don't know. That seems. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure no, Frieza but, was base. But 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 that's so weird. Like like at that time specifically, Goku is technically stronger than Frieza. That shit low key sounds like a plot hole. I'm not even gonna like, lie. That, that, that <laughs> don't even make sense. 
Like regardless of regardless of where they were at that time, Goku was the guy. Like in Universe Seven, yeah. at least. At okay, least. never mind. He wasn't in base. That's what. Okay. Like Frieza wasn't. Frieza was not in base, but he, he really manhandled that shit. Right. I don't okay. That's interesting. Either way, I really um, that I mean, you bring up a great, like that that all of that is like okay, well, damn, Frieza, is, he's been way OD. stronger, than we realize, and and that much is very scary, for the future, but that's why I'm my that also still, brings me to my original answer to that, is I feel like, um. The, the warriors are meant to be the ones to take him out. And like I still I, I don't I'm not gonna go on a I'm not gonna go on a crazy belief and be like, listen, I don't think Freeze is gonna be stronger than Zeno because <laughs> because then it's just like, okay, well That would be an issue. That that wouldn't even make sense. It really <laughs> wouldn't. I mean listen, if they if they wanted to go down that path to really solidify Frieza as being the absolute strongest. All he has to do is take out someone like that. Fuck taking out a fucking Supreme Kai. That's the easy way out. Take out Zeno. He does that. He is the actual ruler over everybody. And that the, and he then said the, he was plotting it. In wait, the yo, anime, yo, yo. I, but, I have some crazy shit for my like, cat. Like, yo, what? Like like a race Zeno, right? Like whoever takes him out takes him out, but then there's no order. Well, yeah. So that'll fu- that'll fuck up the angels and the the gods of destruction. So that'll be like maybe everyone against each other at that point. Like if they don't like each other, like that'll that'll cause a disturbance. Well, hold on, no, it wouldn't really cause a disturbance. You know what that would do? The rules change. The rules the, You know how the rules are that they're not supposed to actually get involved? Well, guess what? Now we can see the angels fight. Right. Exactly. That's, that's what I'm kind of getting at, though. Like, there's there will be a disturbance. Because Unless, all, all... Go ahead. Go on. Go Unless on. Frieza's that strong where they can't leave their posts because they cannot defy the new king. Yo, that's what I'm saying. Like. That's, dude, that's how you write Frieza to just be the shit, like, of all things. Take out Zeno, now he's the tippity top. There is nobody above him. Nobody. Good luck. Good fucking luck. And because of that, <clears throat> the people, like, 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 the Grand Priest, now nah, he has to listen to Frieza. Or right. else. Right. And, yeah. That's crazy. But I want to see some shit like that. Like, that's real dilemma. That's a real fucking problem. No, that's a that real a fucking real arc. Problem. Print it. That's... Give us royalties. <laughs> that's a real arc right there. Nah, but honestly, like that'll like that arc in itself, if it were to ever be a thing, like it'll be what we really want because we will be able to see the gods and more importantly the angels really duke it out in a fight. And that yeah. like we just wanna see the power scaling at that point. Like we wanna see Whis fight for real, for example. Yeah. And like and see what the fuck goes on. I don't know. Yeah. Like it'll make things very interesting for sure. So so that's why whenever they you know, whenever Frieza six cooler on them, it's almost it like like the thing is, and I wanted to bring this up, they free a cooler does not have to die. Okay, because much like Broly, another popular character, like Broly was the first of all of the movies that existed in that time. That which I always knew out of all of them. Harutagarn, Android 13, Janemba, Janemba, Bojack, all these motherfuckers. Turles. So the, the fucking Lord slug. The, right. <laughs> all of these all of these dudes. I always knew that out of all of them, Broly would be the first one to get his canonical recognition. And then once that took place, it's like conditional. First Broly, then Cooler, cause it's a it's an order of operations. Pemdas, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, bro! I would love, I would love for like some of this, like some of these names that you just kind of mentioned, like 
whether they're in universe Jamil. seven as a villain or they're in another universe like one of the top universes like that would be fucking kind of that cool. would be cool bro, seeing yo seeing like a member from like universe it, three yo, or some like shit. that's what yo. i'm saying because we have to we have to remember that there are those other planets that we never saw yet yeah, and they ha- they such have such an easy to way to write them, them in. Easy they way. They have to in- they have to introduce them. Okay, somehow. Hatchy Yak. Or, well, they have to they have to introduce the plant those those universes regardless at some point. If they forget about that, they're fucking. Yeah, you know, what'd be sick if Frieza's army was all of those characters. Like what? That would make no <laughs> sense. Of course it wouldn't. <laughs> but yo, tell me this right now. Tell me this right now. If if Frieza showed up. And he gave, he was like, listen, if you think you guys are good enough to fucking fight me, y'all got to go through all of these fucking characters. And guess what? All the cloaks people, they take their fucking hoods off. <laughs> yeah, that like, would be kind of fucking sick. That would, that would be, be awesome. Dirty. Oh, that I would lose my mind. I would lose my mind, bro. It would be cool. No, but at that point, at that point, it would literally be like, fuck. Bro, like there could be so many outcomes to that shit. That would be, it's like, dude. It's like depending on how many people we're talking about, like it could be who who fights who, type of situation. Nah, 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 nah. So it's like one on one on one on one. You know, what no, I mean? not Instead like a tournament. I mean, they could do it. Like, no, it wouldn't be whatever. a tournament. It would just be, you know, it wouldn't fuck a tournament. Like it doesn't right. have to be a tournament. It would be unless they set it up that way and kind of rewrote cell games in a way. And because freeze freeze the game. Nah, 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 nah. I the want that shit to be elongated. Game. Like, you don't understand. I literally want so many different things that even we're not even talking about to happen first. I really want them to have so much more story to go. Like, Dragon Ball could be the next One Piece, okay? I want this shit to just continue, right? Mm. But they have... Frieza can be at the end. The very end. The absolute end. Because after that, it's done. That's why I said before. It's done. And then if, of course, because it's so popular, if they decide to keep, keep it up... There's like a 1,000 year time skip. And it's all brand new shit. All brand new. Similar, like you all know those people same. People wouldn't care. fuck with that. I don't care. We, 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 we could cross that bridge on, on another fucking episode, right? But, but yeah, like that's. These are the type of ideas that I'm talking about that would really be on some next level fucking like wild shit. And, and like, the, and, and, and cooler could be obviously somebody that they try to defeat, but. Out of all the differences, out of all the other ones that they dis, if they ever, if they do take that idea, and they bring in all the other movie type characters, like we see BoJack and all that shit, right? Frieza almost kind of protects Cooler, and like, I would, yeah, yeah, see, I was thinking that shit, he protects him, like, so when they're fighting him, like, like, like the the warriors are fighting Cooler, and like they're on their shit, right? They come close, and they, it's almost like the Broly situation. They about to fucking Wait. give him the big old thing, and then Frieza gets in the middle, stops the blast or whatever it is, and he goes, "That's all." And no, I was, oh yo, we we got the same shit because I was literally thinking like, yo, Frieza, Frieza and Cooler training in the time ta- time chamber type shit, and then you know Frieza, the OG prodigy, he got too strong, so now he's got to like Cooler got to step up. So Frieza's like, you know, I got the perfect sparring partners for you. Hold that thought. Brings them, hello monkeys. <laughs> brings them just like all right here's who you're gonna spar with today cooler just versus the two of them yeah. cooler versus the two of them alone frieza just watching then you know like maybe cooler starts getting his shit rocked he's about to get beat and right before he stops you know frieza just jumps in on some awesome grand priest type energy and just that's all for today monkeys thank you <laughs> boom just pushes them against the wall dusts their shit out and he's like all right we out takes right. cooler and dips right and see and that's and this is how you this is how you set the measuring sticks because right. right so that's how we would know okay they're making progress right they are getting stronger they were about to defeat nowhere. him right right they, they they're about to defeat cooler but still nowhere near fucking frieza however this situation could replicate itself similarly in other situations later down the line with other fucking foes because say something like that happens and then frieza tries to flick him he tries to flick them. Maybe there's a time where Goku and Vegeta is like, they stand still and they're like. And the Frieza's oh. like, hmm, it seems like you're getting stronger type shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's time. how we would be able to tell, like, oh, there's, ch- there's a chance. They're getting, we're getting closer. But 
We don't know. So many theories. It's it's, it's too it's too it's like this is exciting, but it's like we're making this shit up. Like uh, nah, we're just, we're just we're just using our imaginations at this. This point. is literally hoping, the podcast one hundred and one. Hoping hoping they choose one of our theories. That's literally <laughs> we, put, we put so much out there that it's just like just pick fucking something, please. Pick, some, pick a oh direction or something. You know, like that's facts. Yeah. How many did we come up with just today alone? That like was, SOD. Yeah, just nah. pick one. Like come on. Came up with that at least like the writing, bro. Like it's. It's all about the writing, yeah, for sure. It's not that hard. We're doing it for you. We're like I the promise. fucking we're like the supervisors. We like they 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 literally create shit and then we go, "Oh, so you could do this now." <laughs> and this 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 <laughs> like we give them so much output, bro. Like, yeah. Uh... Well, like they they could literally have like one word type shit. Like think about that. They're like, "So cooler." Brr, whole arc done for them. Yep. Simple. Like they could, they could fill in all the blanks or whatever, but like we get the, we have the premises just ready to go, locked and loaded. Yeah, no, like we got, we got the, we got the general storyboard going for them. Yeah, they and just gotta fucking fill in the puzzle. Oh, that's that good shit.